Hello and welcome to the Business Today show. I am Udayan Mukherjee. My guest today on the show is a lady who hails from a very reputed business family. But over the last few years, she's had the task of reinventing her family business completely, which she has done very, very competently. It's the old house of Kinetic, which every Indian business viewer should be quite uh, conversant with. And would also know, therefore, that they went through their uh, enormous share of troubles uh, in the two-wheeler business uh, over a period of a decade. But over the last few years, uh, they have reinvented themselves and placed themselves at the forefront of the electric vehicle revolution, uh, which is sweeping across India. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome Sulajja Ferodia Motwani from the House of Kinetic, Vice Chairperson of Kinetic Engineering and CEO of Kinetic Green energy and power to the show. So, Laja, wonderful to have you on the show. And uh, would you could agree that it's a fair assessment, that uh, it's a complete, uh, you know, reinvention or a rehaul of the house of kinetic that you've had to do over the last four or five years? Well, I think you put it across really well. Uh, we have reinvented ourselves. Uh, we went through a very uh, massive restructuring, some of it voluntary and uh, very positive, some of it was very difficult, uh, but I'm glad that we have been able to uh, complete it successfully, come out of it, uh, with all our group companies growing fantastically, and with Kinetic Green really, you know, as the center of it, as uh, with the new, in, a, in the new Sunrise sector, which is the EV uh, disruption, and we are very excited about the future and looking ahead with it, to it with a lot of optimism and excitement. But how convinced are you, Sulaj, about this uh, EV issue? Because when one speaks to many of the old timers and the large players in the two-wheeler industry, they sometimes would scoff and say or, or look a little amused saying, you know, all this excitement about EV, but that's not going to happen in the next many years. The traditional uh, two-wheelers will remain very much the dominant players and three-wheelers too. And EV might be exciting from a market point of view, but uh, from a consumer point of view, it will take many, many years. Do you disagree with that assertion? Do you think the EV revolution will come upon us much sooner than we can see it today? Well, I think that the EV revolution has already come upon us. Um, six years ago, when I started Kinetic Green, uh, it was not so fashionable to be an EV company. Now, of course, it's quite fashionable um, and quite, uh, you know, uh, let's say, quite exciting to be in this sector. But when we began, there were definitely more disbelievers than believers. Uh, there was no policy. There was no clear uh, supply chain. There was no market. There were no consumers wanting to buy EVs. Uh, there was no technology and batteries were very expensive. But even then, I had a conviction that there is a disruption that's coming in the auto sector. Uh, the world is going green. And whether it's energy, whether it is uh, any other form of business where sustainability is being embraced, and the younger generation who's looking at climate change with a, you know, as a very serious issue, I think green uh, automobiles or green mobility was going to definitely going to be um, something that was going to sweep the world. And I think five years down the line, we are seeing that this is actually happening. And I think now there are definitely more believers than disbelievers. And in certain segments like two wheelers and three wheelers are what you can call the light mobility or the small vehicles where the movement is mostly intracity and you don't need a lot of charging infrastructure i think there already evs are beginning to make a great impact uh, because it is affordable it is in fact cheaper for the customers and they don't need a huge charging infrastructure they can charge the vehicles at home so there's a much higher level of adoption which we're already seeing so i think we can comfortably say now that we are at an inflection point and over the next five to ten years we will see a massive uh, penetration of evs especially in the light mobility or the intracity segments like two-wheelers, three-wheelers and buses. And interestingly, India is a country where these three segments dominate the transportation sector. So unlike the West where 80% people are using cars and 20% people may be using buses and two-wheelers, in India 80% people are using two-wheelers, three-wheelers and buses. And only 20% people are using cars or you know, long-range trucks, etc. So in India, I think we will see a massive infiltration of electric vehicles in the next 10 years driven by these intracity vehicles, uh, where already EVs are nearing parity or they already are at parity and uh, the movement is going to be very rapid. 